Hey, this is Fred from Trace Elliott. We're here at the PV booth in the Trace Elliott booth at NAM 2023, debuting the new TE 1200 head and these fantastic pro cabinets. So let's talk a little bit about the head first, and then we'll talk about these cabinets. First of all, we got 1200 watts of power right here. That's a real 1200 watts, not advertised 1200 watts. We've got the the uh, traditional Trace Elliott EQ in here. Trace Elliott gyrator EQ circuit in here. This is really important because a lot of people are familiar with Trace Elliott, they expect a graphic EQ. Well, this is the same EQ circuits that Trace Elliott's been famous for called the gyrator EQ circuits. Just has a knob on it instead of a graphic EQ slider. Makes it a little easier to use. In addition to that, we've got the famous Trace Elliott multi-band compressor. So you've got separate compression for the highs and the lows. So when you're slapping and popping, you get a really, really tight, tight low end and it releases that high so it gets a little bit brighter on the other end. It's a big difference for a bass player having a multi-band compression. One of the most important things people have got to understand about Trace Elliott is we build every component in the chain. So we build the power supply, we build the power amplifier, the pre-amplifier, everything. A lot of our competition use off-the-shelf power modules. We don't do that. Every circuit and every component in here is designed 100% for the professional bass player. Each of these Trace Elliott comes with rack ears, so you can actually rack mount the unit. You buy it right off the bat. It comes with the bag. It has uh, preamp outs and power amp in, so you can slave multiple units together. You can use one foot switches as MIDI to control multiple units, so this is designed to have very, very large systems on the road. And take a look at these cabinets real quick. We've got a 212 and we've got a 410. These cabinets are road ready, and we mean road ready, we've included a road case. So this is a really unique design. That's a little magnet straps right on there. They have wheels on the back. It just flips right over and goes, <clears throat> lets you push it right out onto the truck. The casters are really, really important too because we use a special type of grease in the bearings to make sure the thing does not rattle. Getting a caster not to rattle is a trick and we've done it uh, with the Trace Elliott cabinets. They're also locking casters. The cool thing about this Trace cabinet though is the coaxial 12 inch on the high end. This is a Fatal coaxial speaker that's on an angled baffle. Now why is that cool? Well, if it's on the floor, that's aimed up at your ear. But if you're putting it on its side and notice all of these, candle, th these cabinets have not only handles on every side, they have feet on every side so that you can lay it down to the left or to the right and you can stack them up like that. Now if you lay the coaxial speakers opposite each other, you get a super wide coverage pattern as a bass player on the stage. So if you walk from that end of the stage to this end of the stage, you can hear that high, high end of the bass and it just cuts right through the mix. Um, the 410 cabinet, Obviously, it's designed to match the size. And the, I, my favorite combination is the 410 with 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 the 212. It's it, it's amazing, but this is Eminence in, uh, speaker enclosures in here and a tune port cabinet. Same features, handles on the sides and the top, um, of of every uh, every side and top. And of course, it has nesting feet on the cabinets and a nesting spot for the head, so nothing rattles, nothing moves off the stage while you're playing. So. This is, Professional touring gear, really ex super excited to show it to you, and maybe we'll do a demo here real quick. Gibson owned it for a while, right? Uh, and, and Gibson kind of went through and, and bankrupted the company, and the, we, we had a couple guys working for us They used to work for Trace back in the day, and they let us know what was going on. They said, hey, you know, you could buy this brand back and give it back to the people that own Trace. So we're like, yeah. So we, we ended up buying the brand, gave it back to the guys that started the company, and really we have a, it's a, 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 a real synergy to, and I'm a bass player too, and I, I, I just love bass. And, uh, it's, it's different though, Trace is a different brand than PV, and this is really important, because we have PV bass gear too. So it, it's a different type of player and a different type of mentality. When we're doing a PV bass amp, we're making the best possible gear that we can for a specific price point. So if you're a kid getting started playing bass and you need a bass amp and what you can afford is $300, I'm gonna make you the best bass, bass amp I can for $300. That's, 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 this is the opposite. I'm gonna make the best bass amp I know how to make and then whatever the price is, what it, it is whatever the price is. And, and we're proud of both approaches because every bass player starts off not, you musicians don't have a lot of money and that's how PV, Focus is on, we're all, everybody working at PV is probably, most of us are musicians, you know, they just failed rock stars, right? <laughs> but, but, but anyway, I'll give you a little bit of taste of what this thing sounds like. <laughs> Just really, really tight low end. That compressor's really, really nice, and it's very just uh, very snappy. And then, 
there's a faucet, there's a compression driver in there, and it's got a real rheostat on the back, so that you can turn that up or down or whatever your taste is. If you like that real thumpy low end, you can dial that in no problem. But if you like all that real, you know, crispy stuff, you can you can get it too. Is that just uh, the two twelve stack? Yeah, this is the two twelve. Yep, yep. Now my favorite combination is is one of each of these cabinets. It really fills up. But we decided to display it, display it like this so people could hear the differences between a 410 and a 212. I, my favorite cabinet is this 212. I mean, I, I think that's the best sound bass cabinet that I've ever heard. Of course, I'm, I'm biased, you know, because this is a project I worked on for a long time. My son runs a. That's straight. The bass. 